Hey everybody, wanted to show you how easy it is to uh, mount this inverter. As you might know, the inverter is about 150 pounds. So it's not like you have to hold this 150 pound object and then put in some screws. Uh, if you have any experience putting in a plasma TV, it's very similar to that. What you have is a little bracket and we'll mount this bracket on the, on the wall. And then it's very easy, just two guys to lift up the inverter and then it just rests on these tabs. So what I've done already uh, is found this, the stud here. And I got a lag ready, and I'm just going to hold my bracket up. And I'm just going to put four lags in. You'll see there's slots on this bracket, and I just really feel comfortable getting, getting it all in one stud. One of these lag bolts is probably enough to hold it, but in an earthquake that we have out here in California, you start shaking it around. Um, it's really good to have as many into the structure as you can. And there's a bunch of slots here so you can straddle um, a stud. The other things for consideration of where to mount this is your DC disconnect and where your conduit is going to come in to feed the DC disconnect and then also where your AC is going to go out. So don't just go blindly mounting it somewhere. Think a little bit ahead. Play a little chess and a couple moves ahead about where you're going to go, what's on the other side of the wall. All right? And then a little bit here we'll show you how to wire this up. Thanks.